I uh I should just say social medias again, my bad. Cause this will be on YouTube. Rumble, this is gonna be too long for TikTok because we do got the podcast special today. Um so Valentine's Day, y'all seen the thumbnail, so y'all already know what's up. I couldn't do this by myself, but I'm definitely still gonna give y'all the tips on it. But I have Tania here with me today. Hi. She's going to give y'all the female point of view of, you know, these Valentine's Day topics we got today. I'm going to give y'all the male side because, you know, I got the dudes hold y'all down. Who niggas, we got this. And, uh, yeah, man, we're gonna, I'm going to tell y'all how we really feel about Valentine's Day. But, so, right before we get into it, man, please hit the subscribe on Rumble, YouTube, wherever you're watching is at. Hit the like button. Please follow, share the video, all this good stuff. Um... If this dude's super good, I'm gonna be honest, y'all. To me, it says she might come back. She might do another video. I don't know. But, you know, if it's just like another video, like, eh, she's gonna be like, never mind. <laughs> but we'll see, though. So, yeah, man, we're gonna get into some of these Valentine's Day. Hopefully, you got a Valentine's Day, uh, or, or a Valentine's, right? Okay. Hopefully, you got a Valentine's. Uh, hope y'all day went good, or the day about to go good. Wherever you at watching is what time it is. If you don't got one, don't worry about it. Just save some money. You're good. You ain't have to buy nothing. You ain't have to spend nothing. So, um, I'm gonna start off with the first question because to me, this this always puzzles me. I know you probably got the answer to this because I didn't have the answer either. But where did Valentine's Day come from? Who made this up? Like, where did this holiday come from? Because it seemed like some made up. Bull crap. That's what it felt like to me. Bull crap. Why is it bull crap? Because it's only for y'all. Like, it's like a day to just to do something that I feel like you should just do normally every day. Like, why are we on a specific day for it? I feel like maybe because people didn't do this normally. So women were like, okay, we're going to pick a specific day out of the year that this is what we're going to do. We're going to go on a date. So, I mean, I think it's a it's a nice get out the house, you know. Oh, man. Hey, look, I really did Google. Like, oh, what like okay. what made what up a... There was some poet, dude. It was a dude that was writing poetry made up Valentine's Day. <sighs> Hey boy, the things niggas would do for some buns. Ah. Like, he made up a whole day for it. Like, That's why he made it up. 100%. He, know, he understood women like romance. He started attacking the heart. And I, they was like, oh, this is so great and special. Then it just caught on and then that was the end of it. So, yeah, man, some dude named, um, what's his name? George? Jeffrey? Something like that, man. But yeah, that's that guy's fault. <laughs> but um, okay, so what question you got? Let you can get us. Um, get us going. Okay, so well, one of my questions is: Are you supposed to ask someone to be your Valentine before Valentine's Day? We just talked about this too <laughs> yesterday, y'all. This is so funny to me that I didn't know. I'm like literally, honestly, did not know that. You're still supposed to ask. Listen, it's your girl. You gotta ask your girl, will you be my Valentine's? I think everybody's different. For me personally, I wouldn't ex like I wouldn't expect if I'm in a relationship for them to be like, hey, you wanna be my Valentine? Now I definitely think it's cute and it'll win you some extra points for sure. But in my head, it's already made up that we are each other's Valentine's. So Yeah, so so you shouldn't have to ask. Them, right? I feel like it's to me that's kinda kitty like. That's what I don't. I don't think you need to ask, but I guess some women do. That was back in the day. That was um. Uh, that was high school days. Like I remember doing that in middle school. Write the little note, and then you slide, and they gotta circle the box yes or no. That was back in the day. So I didn't know it was still up to date. We were talking about it now, and then I mean, it still matters. Like our waiter we was talking to. I mean, she looked late twenty something like that, and she still took it serious. Like. He better ask me. He still ain't asking me. I'm just like, oh, God, this is serious. Like, I guess. So, um, I guess I guess this is a funny one. Uh, I, I don't know if this is your question or not. I don't know if I took this from you or not. I had it wrote down. But um, do you feel like on Valentine's Day, sex is mandatory? <laughs> that was somewhat one of my questions. Um, is it mandatory? I feel like it depends on the relationship. Um, I guess... If you are already in a relationship and you guys are already having sex, I feel like it kind of is 
<laughs> expect it. I mean, like, why would you not have sex on this day, but you're going to have sex tomorrow or something? So, I mean. So, do you feel like, I'm trying to think. If it's mandatory or expected on Valentine's Day, do you think you should hold out like the day before? Like, uh, I mean, if you want to make it a little bit more special, maybe so. But yeah, I feel like if you guys are going out doing something, um, you try to make the day a little bit special, then yeah. yeah. But well, I mean, I don't see why someone would hold out on Valentine's Day if you're already having sex. Yeah. If you is. are, if you're like in something where you guys aren't having sex then yeah i i i wouldn't expect someone to be like oh she's gonna give out on this day would you no uh, okay <laughs> so do you feel like well, okay oh this is this another good question see that's why i said questions are just probably while we're doing it would you be mad if you didn't get anything like not just sex but no gifts no on valentine's day what we just hit you with <laughs> you know hey happy valentine's day babe you know and you know I already love you. You good. And but you ain't getting no gifts. Me, yeah, I'm gonna be a little mad. <laughs> um just because I mean I guess it depends on like again the relationship. If you didn't put in years in time together and you guys already have kind of discussed like listen we do the same thing every year we don't need to be wasting money doing this yeah, doing that yeah. if you come to an understanding that you guys aren't going to celebrate it then okay that's different but in my head i'm still like i want something it don't have to be nothing big you can literally give me a piece of candy and say happy valentine's day and i'm gonna be happy you ain't gonna be yes, cool I am. Like yeah. okay maybe not in the beginning but later on <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's so, okay. That's okay. Uh, so you don't feel like it's a, a certain amount of years you get to that point where y'all ain't really got to do nothing because y'all been together for a minute. You feel like it's a conversation. Yeah. So if we five years in and we just kind of like, man, we ain't really got to do that. We cool. Yeah, because in my head, I feel like I'm going to try to do something for that person every year so i'm gonna be kind of like dang i done put in all this work and you just like not doing nothing i didn't get nothing yeah i don't i don't like that you wouldn't get some next year after that <laughs> that first year he no we have a discussion about it so do, you, so, you, do, so do you feel like men are supposed to get gifts now you feel like they women supposed, supposed to, get to receive something? gifts or get on gifts. valentine's like men are supposed to receive yeah gifts? yeah I think also, so. you don't think it's just for just no, for no, girls? No, 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 no. I don't mm. think it's just for girls. It I go think, both ways. I think, yeah, it go both ways. And I would, yeah, if I'm expecting a gift, I'm going to be giving a gift as well. Would you consider, okay, it's your turn to ask a question, my bad. I'm no, about no, to no, no, keep going. Keep <laughs> would going. you consider sex as a gift? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, Baby, okay. I'm about to give you this guy got 3000 a day. <laughs> no, that is That's not, not a, a gift. gift. That's not a gift. No, it needs to be a little bit more than just that. What Would you, is that a gift to you? No. Okay. No, okay. that's why I'm, I mean, as a female, like, you like, hey, I'm going to give so you So would sex. you be upset if you, in a relationship, you didn't spend all this money, took her out, did all these nice things for her, and at the end of the night, all she got for you is sex. You're upset. Oh, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, I'm a little disappointed. Okay, what is flip it, reverse it? What if she does all these nice things for you? Y'all been having sex, but tonight she just don't want to have sex. What is that? What does that mean to you? Hey, well, we've been having sex, like so. We let's just say you we had sex, sex on a regular. The last two nights, and then Valentine's Day, she's like, I'm just tired. No. Let's, let's say y'all didn't have sex the day before. She hasn't really made up an excuse as she's tired. She's just not in the mood. What if I try to get her in the mood and then she be like, no. Yeah, like, she's st- pushing real hard. No, no Oh, that's weird. I'd be like, what's going on? Oh, that's a red flag. But she didn't spend a lot of money on you. Is that going to take away from that? No, no, no. I mean, yeah, no. I, personally, no. I'm gonna say no, like you went, you did, you got gifts, stuff like that. I appreciate it. Um, and I, that's the type of person I am. I don't know, if I try to speak for a majority of men, I still feel like if the girl went and bought us something, it's still gonna hit home harder because men don't usually receive gifts or compliments. So when you telling your man you look good or anything, that's gonna hit different. You went out and got a gift or whatever, that's gonna hit different. I only had sex tonight, but I get it on the regular. Now I'm cool. 
I'm cool. I just didn't know if y'all counted that as a gift. Like, hey, you getting this set? No, you getting I think, I think it would be like, more so men might count it as a gift than women. I don't think any women would really. Like receiving it, it or are we about to give you the D? This is a gift. Like, give it in the D, yeah. <laughs> I don't think any woman's gonna be happy with that's all she got for Valentine's Day. No. Well, <laughs> men though, I feel like some men would be happy. If they not getting it from her. Like, I'm gonna say this, it, it depends. So if we take it in another way, and I ain't never hit this chick before and she like on Valentine's Day, I'm gonna give you some. Oh yes, that's a gift. Thank you. We oh yes. Yeah, that'd be cool. Or if it was just a long break. It could have been a month or something like that. So like, yeah, on Valentine's Day, I'm busting it open. Like, that's a gift. Okay. But so I guess what cancel it out is if you hit it on a consistent basis, it's not going to be a gift then. I'm like, girl, we do this on the regular. <laughs> like, come on now. Okay, well, since we're still on the gift topic, um, now, is it expected that the woman is spending the same amount of money as the man on gifts? Like, do the gifts need to be, like, equaled out? Mm -hmm. Or if you didn't spend, like couple hundred bucks and she didn't spend like fifty dollars and got you a teddy bear and a rose or something like does money matter no um, i think that would be more of a question for you <laughs> for real because men like i'm not nah, me personally no nah, it don't matter um you got me something like i said again men don't usually get gifts so it's it's all gonna matter it's gonna hit um but i know a lot of women because some women are high maintenance or you know they just like that and if you give them a gift that's just Cheap. You just got you a teddy bear or some flowers or something. They just be like, this it? Like, nigga, where the diamonds at? Stuff like that. You know, girls be into that stuff more. So, no. Nah. Not for me. Uh, okay. Well, we are talking about gifts. This is a good one. Um, What would you consider, and you just give me one example of both, a good gift and a bad gift on Valentine's Day? A good gift and a bad gift. Mmm. I guess for me... I feel like really I would like any gift as long as there was some thought put into it. A bad gift to me is something where, okay, you didn't really put too much thought into this at all. So. Well, what, okay, what, what would that be though? Like, give me an I example. No, I can't like give an example. I guess, and then I'm also pretty simple too. Like, you can get a teddy bear and I thought that was pretty thoughtful. You thought about me in this moment. Oh, I think she would like that teddy bear. <sighs> something that might might not be as thoughtful hmm i don't know i gotta think on that that's kind of tough i think um i think well just piggybacking off what we just said like a bad gift to me would be you giving me sex like i would be like this is your gift like girl you tripping that'd be bad but if you went out and got anything for me, that's going to be good. Because you thought about me, took the time out your day to go get Why it. Why is the sex just such a bad gift, though? Um, because you already get it. So anything, it wouldn't even just be sex. Like, I feel like if so I gave it's you... it's something that you get on the regular. It's going to be bad. Bad gift. Yeah, I could give okay. you money all the time. And then Valentine's Day, come I give you some more money. You know, like, nigga, I, you give me money all the time. Like, this ain't a gift. <laughs> so anything you get on the regular would be considered bad. Something that you don't get often, that's going to be cool. You know, like, oh, okay, that's decent. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I like that. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, um, so I guess, I guess we can ask, is Valentine's Day, is it an important holiday to you? Is it important? Yeah. No, it's on the bottom. It's the bottom um, of the list. On the but holiday list. I mean, like, I would still, you know, I'm still celebrated, it, but it's yeah. not, it's not something that I'm like, oh my gosh, we really just have to like go all out on this holiday. No. Is this something you look forward to? Like, well, I can't wait for Valentine's Day to come. <laughs> I don't look forward to it. I mean, yeah, I don't look forward to it. Do you look forward to your birthday? I'm getting older, so do I? No, not really. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting, you know, better in life, yeah. But Valentine's Day? I guess I feel like the closer it comes, then I'm a little bit excited. Like, hmm, what am I going to get? Yeah. But I'm not just, like, in a rush to try to get the holiday going now. Okay. Okay. Did you did you have a question? Cause I saw it was just you didn't stole on. all my questions. Oh, for real? Yes. That's what we, okay, like cool, cool. All, all right, we 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 making it, we making it. Um. Okay, so 
on Valentine's Day, do you feel that you need to give all the important women in your family something as well? Oh, okay, that's so a good one. So daughters, mom, aunties, whoever. I'm be honest. Um, I do feel like you should 100. percent Um, and I just literally got started. Like this Valentine's mm -hmm. coming up is the first time I got my daughter something. I did get my daughter something. Um. It would be nice to get your mom something too. I definitely, I should have did that. <laughs> you still got time. I'm like, I'm trying to get you in there, baby. But um, yeah, I think, man, especially like with little girls, I feel like me as a father, I feel like I want to treat them how I want them to be treated with their future, you know, husband. So I want them to get used to getting nice things on Valentine's Day and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, I did get them something this year and I'm gonna try to keep it going every year after that. So do do you feel like that as a woman? I do you think feel like it is. Yeah, I think that's a good idea to start when they're young. I mean, I don't want to, you know, make it a bad habit. It might become a bad habit yeah. and they might start having higher expectations. But no, um, yeah, just let them know if you're in a relationship with a man or whatever, he should get you something yeah, on Valentine's but, Day if he cares. Yeah, be nice. Unless y'all had that conversation. Like, we ain't got to do it no <laughs> yeah, more. Yeah. <laughs> so do you feel like you should only give Valentine's Day gifts to people you actually love? People you actually love. <laughs> That's a good one. Um. No, I feel like, uh, you know, people that are important to you. So, I mean, maybe you love them. Maybe y'all on the way to love. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, I don't think you just giving out random Valentine's Day gifts to people out on the street asking for money. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, no, no. but, but yeah, people, people like, that are very important your family, to you or and out, close yeah. Like to your you girlfriend, boyfriend. Your like, yeah. 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 Do you feel like that would be like a good day if you ain't never said I love you on Valentine's Day? Think that's a good day to uh, say? Uh, is that a good day to say? I don't cheesy? know. That kind of seems a little cheesy to me. Like, you just have all these other days and you don't say it on Valentine's Day. Like, it just really sounds like you're trying to special. butter me up for something else later on. I don't know. But, yeah, that don't, yeah that's a little cheesy to me. Yeah, so don't hold out, dude. Don't hold out. Just say it when you feel it. I guess it does. I mean, that is cool. Like, yeah, just saying your feelings whenever. Because uh, then it's organic. Organic stuff is the best. Uh, so, now nah, some stuff is planned. Because, boy, yeah, like, what I got in plant. And, like, we talked about price. You spent a lot of money? <laughs> nah. Uh -oh. But it whole weight. Oh, uh, okay. Woo! It's one of those. Yeah, I can't uh, wait. Okay. Uh, I don't know y'all. Y'all might find out. You might know. We'll see how the video <laughs> do. See if Tamia come back or whatever. You know, who knows? <laughs> uh, I guess we could ask that. Okay. Um, another question. You have been through a couple Valentine's days already. What is the best Valentine's you've had so far that you can the remember? Best Valentine's I've had. <laughs> um it was just like a it was a date night. Um, like we went out did a few activities we went out to dinner and we got a couple's massage so that was also my first time getting a massage so nice, that was nice. yeah that was like the best valentine's day i had you got massaged by a dude no it was a woman oh no <laughs> so you let that slide <laughs> like, oh, yeah, a woman. So, yeah. okay it was so. like a first experience on valentine's day with somebody special at that time so that yeah, was, yeah. That was the best one. Yeah. Okay, that was good. That was a good one. What about you? Uh, you have any good Valentine's days? I'm not gonna say I have bad ones because I always do something. Um, but I haven't had Valentine's done to me, so that's what I'm Nothing saying. Like, it was no Valentine's Day where he was like, you know what? That was pretty special. That was nice. I like that. No? If so, I don't remember. Oh, well, so, yeah. Probably not that. Yeah, because I... That's sad. No I mean, you know, man, everybody's relationships are different. Some, like, some people really feel like Valentine's is just for the females. Like, and I mean, shoot. I don't know. I feel like that. Like, I honestly feel like, I mean, this is a girl day, like a girl holiday. Like, I don't feel like it's for the dudes. If the chick do do something nice for her to do, then yeah, that's what's up. Like I said, we'll appreciate it, but am I expecting it? No. 
like you won't lose any points on that day about if you didn't do anything. So yeah, that's how I feel about it. So that's why I'm kind of like, I ain't got no special ones, but me doing stuff, kind of like you said, I mean, you know, definitely did dinner dates, done massages. Um, I mean, we, I mean, I, I, I haven't done a lot of while on Valentine's, but yeah, it's a normal stuff. Flowers, stuff like that. Okay, so but we can reverse the question. What's the? Do you have you had the worst Valentine's you remember? The worst Valentine's. <laughs> For some reason, <laughs> I got one of those. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I don't mind. Um, I mean, I never really do anything super like grand. Um, so like, but I always did something. I guess. I can't really say a worst Valentine's Day because I've always gotten something if I was in a relationship on Valentine's Day. I've always gotten something. Um, it was just the fact that maybe we couldn't spend that day together. That might be like a worst Valentine's okay, Day. Okay, yeah, that, I mean, you don't get to spend the yeah, day with each other. Yeah, that's facts. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, shoot, I mean, the worst one I've had is just, I mean, I guess probably a fear that every guy got is actually really going out buying stuff and then come back and this is not appreciated mm, that yeah. sucks like that's 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 like I, I don't see how people can do that like that's why it's like anything to me thoughtful i'm like oh my gosh you thought about me i, I love it thank you so much like mm -mm. <laughs> it's a sad day that day for nick mm. i guess i guess uh this is another good question popped in my head if would that same effect still happen if you're mad at me like, what if you mad at me all the time? That would probably make me feel a little bit better, actually. And, it, you know, I might be like, you know what? Let me fix my attitude. He done did all these nice, thoughtful things. Okay. So, that would that would help you yeah. out, be in your okay. favor, yeah. Okay. I think in that situation, when somebody was mad, they was just like, I don't care about none of that. Mm. <laughs> I was like, dang. But, okay. Well, hey, if, if she mad at y'all, butter her up. Go ahead and use it. Mm. So... I guess that's cool, man. Um, I think we hit about 20 minutes, 25. That's what we wanted to shoot for, y'all. I think we got there. You think we got there or we need another know, question? Maybe. We don't I, need to, we can, you know, start slow now and then maybe they'll be like, come on back with another video. And we'll hey, that is we'll good. Watch. If y'all want Tamir to come back, if y'all want to see us do more topics, put in the comment section. And maybe if she see it at the bottom, like we want more, she might come back. You know, I'm gonna be here with the flawless tips. I'm gonna definitely be back and y'all some more tips. Um, but how, how'd you like it? How, what, how was this being on camera? She's shy, y'all. So how was this? Was this cool or you didn't oh, really it like cool. it? It was cool, yeah, it was cool. It wasn't, I was a little nervous, but as we went going, rolling, it, yeah, it was a little it bit go better. Away. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. All right, y'all. That'll be it for this one, man. Please like the video. Please share it. Subscribe. Like it. Comment. All that good stuff. Man, I can't say it again. I do appreciate you taking 20, 25 minutes out of your day to watch this. For real. I appreciate that. And uh, we'll get at y'all in the next one. Remember, everybody's flawless in their own way. <laughs> All right, peace.